Welcome back to Let's Play Black and White. Um, a few more things I need to do. Um, first of my creature probably needs feeding. Yeah. So let's feed Horsey some food. Um, stealing off from you. Oh dear. Throwing up. What have you been eating? We I mean, haven't eaten the bull, have you? Good Horsey. I'm not sure why my frame rate is so bad. It really shouldn't be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Horsey just ate his inflatable ball. That's not really clever thing to do, Horsey. Um, right, so we want to go into here. Um, it should not that, but fine. Creature cave. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I know about this. My creature. Right, um, the request is we had dragon as a request. Um, shall we make it a nice orange dragon? Orange is my favourite colour, which is really weird. Most people don't seem to like orange as a colour, so I'm not sure why I do. Um, we also were asked for lightning bolts on the bottom. I'm not sure. Sure. Yes, the horse does have bottom spaces, so lightning bolt should probably be a light yellow, I think. So let's have a lightning bolt there. And we swing around a little bit. Lightning bolt. Oh, I can't put one on the other bottom. I have to do with one. Okay, that's enough tattooing for now. Let's leave the temple. Uh, escape is a shortcut for that. Um, my creature can sleep for a little while. Fine. Let's get on with the main quest. Holy one! There's a huge creature in the valley beyond! We're all terrified! This must be the creature that Siebel spoke of. Let's investigate. So, um... You've probably seen this in the background quite a few times, but this is the guide creature. Look at the size of that! Ah, okay, we're dead. We're it's a sheep. Dead. What is it's it? a sheep. Where's it from? It's from a mummy sheep. It doesn't sheep. seem to be aggressive, though. If it is, we're all dead. Even a I'm not going to die from a sheep. Wash. It's a sheep. Can you hear that? A, this a telepathic sheep. It's telepathic. You have a creature. Bring him to me. No way! Sheep are herbivores! But this giant looks friendly. Let's bring our creature over with the leash. Friendly, I'm not so sure about it. It looks fluffy. I'll give it that. Please, use the leash to bring your creature oh, I can't stand the depressed sheep. Fine. Come on, creature. Oh, our creature will get there in a second after waking up. Okay, so the creature's getting close, so here's the meeting between our creature and the guides. Just so you can see a bit of scale between the smallest and largest creatures you can have. I do hope they'll be friends. Naturally exaggerated by this point of view, of course. Oh dear. Another creature? Is it true? Are you real? I've been alone for eons. I thought I would die without ever seeing another god. Or another creature. Um, there were three other creatures living on your island. As well as a hut with four of them and someone hiding in the rich. I once belonged to Nemesis, the most powerful of gods. But his power kept growing and soon I was That's probably because you're a sheep. Him. So I was cast out. Vanished here, and I've been alone ever since. Until now. This being is astonishing, but what a sad tale. In return for your friendship and that of your creature, I will teach you both. You will both learn the ways of the gods. When you are ready for the first lesson, meet me at the village through this pass. Okay, we can be friends, but nothing more. I mean, I'm not Welsh. Don't get me wrong here. Um, apologies to any Welsh people listening. I know you're not all a bunch of sheep shaggers. Just some of you. Let's see if I can remember where that last stone is. I swear it's in the side of a mountain somewhere. Oh, that's just a rock. Swap your creature with this one yes, if you want. Yes, he's going to be saying that every time we go near that. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that's a real one. Okay, let's jump over there. So we got our scales there. And that's another silver reward quest we can do in a little bit. Um, 
might as well start the quest off now while we're waiting for our creature and the guide to get together. Hi, man. Neat stone circle, huh? It's a bummer that some are missing. Sounds like we can help there. What? Help this deluded sack of I love that in no ones. The stones have to play a scale. That's what we need. Tap a stone to hear its note. Now, I'm not technically tone deaf, but I'm probably going to mess this up, so advance warning. Let's try that there. That sounds pretty high. Yeah, those two might be in wrong order. That didn't sound too bad to me. These are the right stones. The stones yeah. have to play it. Let's try these two in the other order. The rest of it sounds right to me. Hey, second go, that's not bad. Not bad for me. Wow, now this is a good vibe. Amazing! I suppose if I was clever, I would have related each stone to its position Something is happening. on the island. The stones are singing together again. But never mind. I mean, you should be able to do it by ear. You don't really need a guide for it, as long as you can find all the stones. Well, apparently that was a rain song, which would certainly explain the weather I've been having recently. It's even been hailing occasionally, which is, um... Hmm. It's raiding food miracles. Nice. Another of those Ah, uh, food miracles good fun. Let's track that back to town. No, uh, that can just Swap wait there. Swap creature with this one if you want. Another strength miracle. I might as well set this as our... Save the point and jump to the creature. Where is the creature? And why are you over there? I was hoping you would be in the right place by now. But apparently we have to do this the hard way. Um, we can actually start this quest while the creature is making his way there. So here we go. Sheep time. This is the Aztec village. I will teach you the first secret here. These people do not yet believe in you as a god. To grow in power, you and your creature can impress them until they believe in you. Look at the village store. The flag shows that they need food. If you give them some, they'll think it's a miracle. And think it's a miracle. It will be a miracle. Click on the signpost to find out more about desire flags. I mean, if I'm a god, it's divine intervention that's giving them food. Food is appearing out of nothing but the raw energy of the cosmos. That's pretty much a miracle. Okay, so the food's coming from a giant sheep. This is a uh, food miracle. Details. The sheep is making it out of the raw energy of the cosmos. One shot miracles with the action button and activate them by tapping them with the same button. Like this. So here we get a tutorial on how to use food miracles. Um, it's really quite simple. Drag it over where you want it and right click and you'll add a load of food. And anyone who sees you add the food will give you belief. Things like this really impress the villagers. If your creature is on the rope leash, he'll learn this miracle as you cast it. That is an important thing to know. Now you try. Tap on the miracle and click the action button on the Aztec. Which is why I wanted my creature over here. And hopefully he is not too far all the way over there. Well, it could be worse. Come on, creature. Come on. So we've got the first bit on teaching our creature miracles. You picked up the miracle instead of tapping it. Drop it and try Don't again. Don't you tell me what to do, you fluffy overgrown bastard. Oh yeah, people are also impressed by seeing your creature for the first time. 
Well done. Now click the action button over the village. See that fifteen percent over the creature? That's how much of the miracle he's learned. Once it gets to 100% it can cast it itself. Good! Not only have you fed them, but now they believe in you more! I have created more food miracles for you to practice with. So, 1529. At the village center, you can see your symbol. When it reaches the stone hand there, the village will believe in you. Holding your hand over it shows how much belief the people have in you. I need sleep. Wake me when the village believes in you and you are ready to continue your education. Well, that will do for this time on Let's Play Black and White. I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.